Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to try to do a kind of quick video to show you some ideas for, for the students that are interested in making a video using PowerPoint. Okay, so a couple quick things. The first thing I wanted to show you, so once you have the um, PowerPoint opened, I just made a little really quick sample one. Once you like click on one of these, any of them, and then go to a place where there isn't anything and right click and see where it says customize ribbon. Give that a click and make sure over here on the right where it says record that you have that ticked because if you don't, and then go to okay, if you don't, um, here, I'm just gonna just cancel that move. If you don't, then you might not have this record icon here. Okay, so let's say that you made your PowerPoint and you know, about why HSF students are cool, which there's like a million reasons. Then on the next slide, you maybe have like some information, you have your main points and maybe you have a bunch of slides like this. And then maybe on one side slide, you have a video that you wanna include in your presentation. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of walk through how to do this. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna look at this. Well, first of all, since there's three of them, I'm gonna show you this quick. What you do is select the top one and then hold shift, select the bottom one. So you select them all like that. Then go over to, uh, here, I gotta move this Zoom stuff down here. Go over to transitions. You can pick your transition, like how it goes between slides, like uh, just a kind of simple one. You can use something like this so that the transitions are important because if you're gonna turn this PowerPoint into a movie, think of the transitions as the part that kind of melts the two slides together and makes it a smooth transition. It actually works really well. So let's just say that we want to use, um, could use the drapes or the other curtains are kind of cool. Okay, so say this is going to be our transition. So now we have that saved. Okay, so then we're going to come up here and then let's start recording. So then open up the record. So now, I should mean just make sure I'm sharing this. I'm just gonna share my screen to make sure that you're seeing what I'm seeing, hopefully. Right, so now you're seeing me inside PowerPoint. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. If you click down on the bottom right where it says views, you can, right now I'm in uh, presenter view or no, maybe teleprompter view, yeah. And so in this one, you could have your notes and they're above and they'll be moving a bit once you start. And then there's present, or actually I think you have to manually scroll. Presenter view looks like this. It's slightly different, right? Where you see um, yourself, the slide, you see whatever notes there, and then you also see what is coming up next, which is kind of nice. And if you had the animation, so they only came up one point at a time, that wouldn't be the next slide yet. It'd be like what your slide's gonna look like once you hit the next thing. So it's good for like letting you know sort of where you are. Okay, so let's see if this will work. I'm gonna to try to do a little sample here. Three, two, one. Wait till this totally opens. Welcome. Welcome to the presentation on why HSF students are the coolest. Uh, this is your host, the one and only. No, I don't know. I didn't have any dialogue plan there. So now say if I like that, I'm gonna go up press stop. So if I wanted to try that again, I can click on this. You'll see that you can't hear me anymore because my video, the video of me is only the PowerPoint. I have the Zoom video turned off. So I can redo that slide. I can redo all the slides. Be careful never to hit that if you're doing a big presentation because that would erase all your recordings. It's actually kind of dangerous to have it like that. Uh, but re uh, retake current slide lets you really easily like redo the one. And then this play button down here is cool because it lets you preview what you just did. Okay, so let's say that for whatever reason we like that. Then we go to the next slide. Right, so you'll notice like now my video is live or whatever because it this is getting ready to like record fresh content. Okay, so now, and then sometimes if you wanna just do this, like it depends. If you have notes, then it would make sense to use either teleprompter view or presenter view. 
if you don't have notes, I would recommend using slide view just because, uh, I don't know, just less distractions, more straightforward, right? You make your points, blah, blah, blah. You're recording yourself in here. You'll notice up here that if I was to click this, then it becomes basically just my audio, right? And if I click that again, then it comes back to my video. Here, this these three dots give you all your kind of options. If you want to use it, you can see here, I'm using an external mic and I'm using the webcam that's in, but you can see I have another camera that I could switch to that's not as good of an angle. So, so there's some functionality like that. Okay, so let's I'll just do something quick here. Test, test, test. This is the example slide. Point one, two, three, and four. What more could you ever adore? Want? I don't know. That was wasn't the greatest. But anyways, this is just to add content to show you what I'm doing. So say that you're like, oh, that was cool. How you rhyme that? Even though the rhyme didn't rhyme. Okay, so now you pause it, replay it. So it's working. You just, I can't, um, I have it coming through my headphones. So just so you don't need to double hear it. Right. So I think since I'm sharing audio, I think you, am I sharing audio? No, no. Okay. So one sec. So sorry that I'm actually might have messed up a little bit before. Darn. Okay. But anyway, so let's say if we were to look at, this one again wasn't the greatest, but anyways, this is just to add content to show you what I'm doing. So there so you should be able to like, oh, that was cool. How you rhyme that, even though the rhyme didn't rhyme. Okay, so now you pause it. Okay, so that one's done. Then we come to the next one. Before I do this, I want to just get out for a sec. Make a couple points to you. Okay, so here's an important point. If you're gonna do um, a video, there's a couple options, right? You go up to insert, and this is an important piece of advice. You go to media, you can see video, right? And it shows you the different options. You can either one that you've downloaded, one that's one of their stock, which you're probably not gonna use, and then an online. Now, putting online like YouTube links works well, if you're going to do a presentation kind of like how I do for you, where I'm going to either play it right in PowerPoint or I'm going to link it. But if you're going to save it into your video, using an internet online link is not going to work because the actual file is not in, literally embedded in your video. All it is is a link. So what you need to do is if you want to do this option, you're going to need to do it in a uh, I use one, what's the thing I use? An app called iTubeGo. It's just like the letter I and then T-U-B-E-G-O. But then there's a lot of ways you can download a video, but you have to have the video downloaded on your device, added as your device for this to work perfect. Okay, it took me forever to learn all this by just trial and error. So then if you once you have it in and you click on it, you'll see up here where it says playback. This is also totally essential that you do this. So you click on playback, and make sure it's at automatically, not in click sequence, in automatically. So what's going to happen is as soon as you start recording that slide, that video is going to start. Now, if you wanted to say something at the beginning, you can easily just pause it during the recording and start talking. But what is important here is because you can think about this as if you're doing a reaction video, you're recording the video and yourself. So you're recording two videos in the video. And this automatically piece is really important to make sure everything stays synced, right? So that you're not like, you're talking doesn't get behind the part that you're talking about. And so everything stays nice. Okay, so now we have it set up, right? We have the video downloaded. We inserted it from my like videos file or whatever. And then we set the playback to automatic. That's basically all we gotta do. Now we're gonna go back into record. So now you can go back to record this way, right? On current slide, you can also get back into recording from this function button up here that looks like the record symbol. So if I click on that, 
It's going to bring us back. Now, just let me make sure I'm sharing. Full screen. Okay, I think this is working. I'm super paranoid that it's not and that you're just seeing like a black screen this whole time or maybe my audio's. This, it looks like my audio is working. Okay, so now let's say I want to record this, okay? So I just picked like a brains game video or whatever. Okay, so now remember I'm going to show you that once I start recording, I'll have the ability to pause this, but you got to be careful, right? Because how PowerPoint is, is if you click anywhere, it assumes it mean that you mean next. So if you click, you have to make sure you're care. This is like you have to click carefully that you're pausing the video and not moving forward the presentation. Made that mistake before for sure. Okay, so let's try this out. Maybe you're thinking that the you know those curtains are too slow. You can we can switch that after. Do not adjust your television. The colors you are seeing are correct. Stare at the black dot in the center of this so image. So you got to pause here. Boom. Make sure you're very specific. Pause and and play from the button specifically. And then um, the other point is wear headphones if you're doing it. Because if you don't, it's going to be recording your computer's audio and through your mic. And it's going to sound terrible. It's going to be a double sound and it's going to wreck the video. Okay, so you have to have headphones when you're doing the video, and you need to um, make sure that when you're playing and stopping, you're touching very specifically that button. The other thing is you kind of have to let the video usually play out. Now I'm going to try to see what happens if I don't, right? But usually I let the whole video play. Um, if you only wanted a part, it'd probably be easier actually if you had some kind of app where you could like cut the part you want and have the thing. Because sometimes what happens is if you have a video and say I only like show this bit and I only showed like a couple seconds of it and then I like end the presentation, there's an aspect of this that still lives sort of in that file and sometimes it can add as at dead time at the end. So, um, so that's like a worry. But let's just watch this for one sec, right? Stare at that black dot. Just I'll let this visual effect and then we'll move forward. But just stare at that, that dot. Stare at it, stare at it, stare at it. For the next few seconds, this dot is your whole world. Stare directly at the dot and don't look away. We promise you're about to see something. You keep might staring at it and keep correct. staring at it. The image is about to change, but keep your eyes firmly on the dot no matter what. Keep looking at the dot. Ready? See all Do the nice blue color? water? And if you move your eyes, does the image suddenly appear black and white? That's because this image is, is black, black and white. white. Okay, so say, say I wanted to make saw. that point, right? All the colors you just saw were made by your brain. Okay, so because they tired out your eyes in the other direction. So say that's all I want, right? Now I'm going to stop this. Boom. Stop recording. I'm going to end the show here. If this is a big project, I'm going to save for the 9 millionth time. I don't know why it's on this auto save. I must be using a document saved online for some reason. So then I go to file. And instead of just saving, I go down to export. And I go to, okay, do I want to make it in as a PDF or all these different options, right? You're going to go to create a video. Boom. Then you're going to go to do what size do you want? Right, so say if you want to go, I would probably say, yeah, just since you're doing relatively small videos, you can go relatively small, right? Then I'll just ask you where you want to save it. I'll just save it to my, you know, hard drive. And then you can see at the bottom here, let me just make sure I'm still sharing the right screen. Yeah, I think I still am. And you can see at the bottom here that it's starting to export. So if uh, I'll just see kind of how long this takes, because this is actually going to be a super short overall video, right? Because I only talked for a few seconds on each slide. So this actually shouldn't take all that long to um, to get through. Just to see how it works. <laughs> this is probably brutal video. 
Yes. Okay. So let me see if there's anything else I can show you while this is doing it. Yeah. And you can also do interesting things like you can include screen recordings. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of making you wait to do this, what I'll just do is I'll just post this and then I'll just post the, the created video that I made from it. All right. See you soon. And I hope this helped. And if you have any other questions, just shoot me a question. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can send them to me and I'll, I'll help however I can. Mrs. See you soon. And uh, take care. Hope you're all doing well.